Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Happy Friday, everybody. It is Friday, April 16th, 2021. Free pick in the NBA coming up on this report. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com and you just want to give it a trial run, click on the link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account, and then you can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster at DocSports.com. All right, uh, we head into Friday. Real nice week so far. NBA, NHL. Major League Baseball and Soccer have combined to go 9-2 and two this week and up over $2,600 for $100 per unit better. As we're going to look to continue that run on Friday, star of the show for me on Friday is the NBA. Uh, I do have a five-star play. We're 3-0 this week in the NBA. Passed last night and that short NBA card. Didn't like the card and we ended up passing, but we're back with a five-star play in the NBA on Friday. We've also got baseball. Yesterday, real easy winner. We had over 8.5 between the D-backs and the Nats. Uh, the teams doubled uh, the total, they scored 17 and in the second inning, they were in the top of the second, they had already combined to score 14 runs. You like them when they come that easy. Uh, so anyway, on uh, Friday's card, the five-star star of the show for me in the NBA, I've got a four-star play in baseball. We look to go to 9-2-1 and one this baseball season with four-star and three-star plays on Friday. And then I've also got soccer, where we're up over $4,500 on a current run that started on February 1st. I've got Friday night soccer. So NBA five-star, Major League Baseball four-star. I've got soccer on Friday night, all available on my homepage at DocSports.com. We'll look to extend this week's run with those sports to 12 and 2. Let's get to our free play for today. Looking at the lines, and I am looking at the game between the Knicks and the Mavericks with a total sitting 210.5 for the most part. couple of 211s out there. You might recall that these teams hooked up a couple of weeks ago, and they looked horrendous, both of them, on the offensive end. They scored a combined 185 points. I could barely watch uh, much of the game as I tried to watch it and uh, it was just a situation where neither team could make a shot it had more to do with poor shooting than it did with good defense and I expect the offense on both sides both ends of the court to pick up in this game for both of these teams first of all when you look at what Dallas is doing uh, with Porzingis playing them a lot more at the start of games their offensive metrics have really picked up since they've done that and they've also got a real nice I guess you could say first couple of players off the bench including Brunson who's uh, certainly a candidate for a six man of the year award and on the flip side I also expect the Knicks to be able to get to the 10 when needed make those outside shots and be able to drive a little bit on Dallas in this game and also contribute to this game going over the total so listen you know last time that total opened around 213 uh, they combined for 185 points when you go under or over a total uh, in the NBA by almost 30 points you're talking about a lot of flukiness going on in that game, and that's what we saw on the offensive end for both teams the last time these two teams hooked up. So we're going to play over the total. Again, it's 210.5 to 11 right around there as I cut this video. But the over between the Knicks and the Mavericks is the free play on Friday. And don't forget, star of the show for me on Friday on my homepage, NBA Action. We'll look to go to 4-0 this week in the NBA. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put them in the win column on Friday.